Welcome once again to my third tutorial video for Leah Whitefang. Feedback has been pretty positive, so it seems like these have been helping people, and I'm really happy about that. Anyhow, this is the second part of the non backturn slash and heavy slash normals tutorial. We spoke briefly about how Leo's Gatlings with these two sets of normals work, and why you might want to pick certain cancel options over other ones. But there's still a lot more to talk about, so in this portion, we'll cover the H normals in greater detail, go over the guard point stance and why you'd want to use it, tie everything together, and briefly talk about capitalizing on counter hits. We might have to go a little bit longer with this one, but without further ado, let's go. 5H This move is very similar in range, usage, and startup to far slash, but with a few exceptions. The hurtbox lingers a little bit less. It's slightly less minus on block. It's a little bit slower on startup. It can't be low profiled as easily. And as with all of Leo's H normals, it leads to the highest level counter hit, which allows for better confirms. Like Far Slash, you can hold the button when you execute the move to enter the guard point stance after 28 frames. And lastly, you can cancel into 2S or Far Slash on hit or block. To summarize, it's an additional neutral poke option compared to Far Slash. It has a better hitbox and hurtbox at the cost of a few extra frames of startup. It can't be low profiled as easily, it leads to more damage on counter hit, and it can be cancelled in Slash Normals or guard point stance. 2H 2H is pretty rare as a cancel outside of as part of a combo, just because of how close you need to be for it to work, but it technically is an option. However, 2H is a fantastic punish tool that leads to some amazing damage. It can also be used situationally as a high-risk, high-reward anti-air. 2H is also a launcher on ground hit, so it leads to damaging combo routes if you're close enough to combo into it. And finally, it has the same cancel options as 5H. That's pretty much it for 2H. To recap, at close range you can cancel into 2H as a block string. As combo filler, 2H leads to damaging combo routes because it launches, 2H itself is a strong punish tool, 2H can be used as situational anti-air, and it has the same cancel options as 5H. 6H in the last video, we talked about 6H as a throw, bait, and punish from other normals. You can do this with close slash as well, but it doesn't work with dashing momentum. One solution for this is to briefly tap faultless defense before doing close slash. Though, be aware you may telegraph the mix-up this way. To prevent this, you may want to tap FD sometimes even when you don't plan to block string into 6H, to make it harder for your opponent to distinguish. You can also use 6H from neutral or mid-range offense to stop your dashing momentum and beta throw, but it can be tricky to do this without accidentally getting thrown yourself. As a block string, there's generally a large gap because 6H has super slow startup, but if you scare your opponent into blocking enough by using frame traps, you can sometimes use it to reset spacing on your block strings. This allows you to crank their wrist further and gain extra meter. Lastly, 6H's high attack level and post-block spacing tends to set up the hard-to-throw spacing for 236H. It works because a surprised opponent will think they're reacting too late, but hastily end up inputting throw too early, and there's also a small window where their throw can be crossed up. If you combine this with some 236S RC block strings, it will make it harder to distinguish. Other than that, 6H has the same cancels as 5H and 2H. There's not a whole lot for 6H, but to put it briefly, remember that you can use 6H for big damage throw baits. You can use FD breaking to adjust your momentum to space your attacks to help with this. As a block string, 6H brings you closer to your opponent, the gap to throw 236H after a close range 6H is pretty small, and 6H has the same cancel options as 5H and 2H. Guard Point Stance When doing Far Slash or 5H, you can hold the button to enter Guard Point Stance afterwards. Leo can slowly move while in this stance, but it's vulnerable to lows and throws. Leo also still takes chip damage while in this stance. When cancelling into stance from a blocked Far Slash, Leo can technically be punished by a 3-frame or faster normal, but you'll be hard-pressed to find one that can reach in most situations. So instead, the opponent has to call it out with a lower throw. If Leo presses the opposite button while holding the button for stance, he'll get a fast, massively disjointed poke that leads to a heavy counter hit. But if Leo lets go of the held button instead, he'll exit stance, but be warned that this does have a recovery animation. One major thing to be aware of is that the guard cancel stance is enterable well before the far slash or 5H recovers, but more importantly, doing so removes Leo's extended hurtbox earlier than normal. This is a bit detailed, but the total amount of time it takes to enter and exit the guard point stance is 6 frames longer for far slash and only 3 frames longer for 5H, which really isn't all that much, especially not if you're trying to avoid a whiff punish. This is a really strong but seemingly underutilized tool in Leo's toolkit. 
and it becomes even stronger when you have meter, because you can PRC and drift PRC out of it. This can let you lure in a player whom you're having trouble opening up otherwise. Putting it all together. As a general rule, cancelling into a slash normal from a heavy slash normal is gapless, so you can't be reversaled in between. Then, with the exception of cancelling from close slash, cancelling into a 5H or a 6H will always have a gap, and cancelling into 2H generally doesn't leave a gap, but will, of course, only reach at closer ranges. But as I mentioned in my last video, Strive lets you cancel things really late in the recovery, so you can turn any of these into a frame trap if you want. A really keen observer may notice that, given the poor reach of 2H, at range, any option after far slash will have a gap. There are two ways to handle this. One is the special cancel. A common option is 236S, but that can be punished on block. So another option is to end the block string in a projectile. This can cause some DPs to whiff or be punished. However, this is also one of the reasons the guard point stance exists. If someone is mashing DPs or non-grab reversals here a lot, you can simply hold the button and then punish with the follow-up. If it turns out they didn't mash a reversal here and you react quickly enough, you can use the disjointed property of the follow-up to cover before you throw a projectile or do a space 236S to end your pressure. Generally speaking, your goal with these block strings is to crank their risk and build meter, so you want to keep them thinking by interspersing lows with 2S, surprise with 6H once in a while, and if you build 50 meter, you can RC a 236S to get into stance fairly safely. Confirming counter hits. Slash normals. On counter hit, you generally want to go into 236H, 214S, or 6H. If you're close enough, 214S or 2H214S are the best choices for damage in Oki but the spacing is sort of rare for far slash. At the furthest ranges, if you want corner swap or just back turn Oki without spending meter, you can just confirm into 236H. If you want to maximize damage or corner carry, you can confirm into 6H. Heavy slash normals. All of Leo's heavy slash normals lead to the best counter hit routes because they add extra hit stun, so it enables routes that aren't possible otherwise. If you don't want to side swap and you're out of range of 214S, you can do 236S and link a normal after. If you're close enough, you can go directly into 214S. But if you're further away and want a side swap, you can confirm into 236H instead. These are just some examples to get you started and give ideas, so be sure to experiment and figure out what works best for you. We finally made it to the end of this video. Leo has a ton of stuff to consider, so these last two videos were jam-packed. I hope this helps you, and I hope to see you back for the next one. Remember to like, subscribe, yada yada. Also check out the Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Peace!